Okay, it starts getting up to 21st century environment, but it's supposed to come back down here again. And there's even more black bags being dumped here. Like I said, the video before didn't really show you how bad it was, but now the sun's on it. Hopefully, I'll show you a bit better how bad this is. I mean, we're talking, look at all this netting. You can just pick it all up. It's just absolutely everywhere. I don't know how to get a really good show to show you how bad this is. Maybe that might help if you bit down at this level. It really never comes out as well on the video as it is when you actually see it. It's an absolutely unbelievable amount of plastic and netting. Now, like I say, 2019 has been the year that people have been environmentally aware, so they say, because of climate change and climate emergency. They're having meetings all over the place now. The COP25 here and COP25 there. And all these environmental meetings. But this is going on and nobody's doing a thing. Now, this is coming from the fishing industry, nobody else. It's nothing else, okay? Now just take a good look at all this, all this netting. You're telling me, you know, on the videos and everything else, how bad it is for the marine life and all those animals look, living in the sea are trapped and killed by it. And he's just letting this all happen. We're in Italy, in Europe. Again, just look at it all. It's all plastic. Coming from the industry that you would think would care for the sea more than anything else. They make their livelihoods from it. Now this is probably generation after generation working here. What happens if their grand grandfathers or great grandfathers have done the same attitude? There's nothing left for them to be working today. So think about the future generation. Fishies. Mm. What's going to be left for them? Somebody has written on my Facebook that this is coming from Albania. I'm sorry, it's not a gift from Albania, it's a gift from the people of Italy to the world. That's where it's from. This is actually Italian. But 99.5% is from Italy, nobody else. And it's from the fishing industry, for sure. Now, ironically, Italy, been on the internet and Googled everywhere, because people can see it around the world, it's going to be the first country to make climate change compulsory in school. And I wonder if they're pointing a finger at China, India and Africa. How can a country that does so much damage just with its rubbish be talking about climate change? That's how stupid it's getting, you know, absolutely unbelievable that the country does this much damage talking to their children about the climate and how it's we're affecting it. Well, you don't have to go very far to give actual practical experience, will you, that's for sure. This is in Taranto. 
in Italy, in the south of Italy. Everyone wants to be rich, making lots of money from mussels. I'd like to eat healthy seafood, please.